Hello everybody, it is Nicole from Ikiwi, and today I have an elemental video for you guys. So today I'm going to be doing Poison, and this is one that I wanted to do for a while. So I decided to go ahead and do it now. So the main idea that I was going off of when designing this character was the colors purple and green. And the reason for this was because I feel like in cartoons, poison is usually depicted as a purple or green liquid inside a glass bottle, glass beaker, with the skulls and bones on it. So taking this even further, I decided that if this person is going to be holding a beaker, why not make it a scientist? So I decided to make this character kind of like a crazy scientist who took her own poison and started like transforming into a reptile or like something that's morphing her original form. For this particular one, I did sketch it ahead of time just to figure out the pose and such so I wouldn't spend so much time uh, sketching and trying to figure out an idea during the video. But ultimately, the first sketch that I did in my sketchbook turned out to be the one that I used. <laughs> so going into color, I decided kind of last minute to give her these like green specks or green scaly kind of representations on her skin to show a transformation. I didn't really plan any colors ahead of time, but I decided to just go for purple hair. And initially I wanted to be like dripping, but then I ended up scrapping that idea and just making it kind of like a purpley transition hair where I mix the kind of magenta purple with a dark blue and then a blue violet color. I'm using the Koi Sakura watercolors palette as usual and in this palette there's not a lot of different colors but I know that you can mix a lot of the colors to get the one that you want. So even though in my particular palette there's only 24 colors, I'm able to mix in like a light green and the dark blue to make a teal, or the violet and the dark blue to make a kind of blueberry color. So there's a lot of possibilities, you just have to figure out which one works for you. So getting back to the drawing, um, I decided to give her a lab coat just to show that she is a scientist. And then midway through when I was drawing, or painting actually, I decided to give her goggles and this is just to emphasize more that she is a scientist or maybe an experimenter, amateur scientist, evil scientist, whatever. <laughs> and then I decided to distress her coat a little bit. So I kept it white for the most part. But then I added a few tears and rips and then like one of her pockets is coming off. And then there's some splotches of purple and green, which is just to signify kind of like it being dirty. Underneath, I wanted to keep it simple, so I just made it a black dress to match with her black gloves. Now, when I was searching up mad scientists, kind of evil scientists, I saw a lot of them have those big oversized rubber gloves. And at first, that was my plan, but I decided to go a different route and just give her these um, fingerless gloves that had like holes in it, kind of like those panty hose, like when it rips, it makes those stupid little holes and then you can't wear it anymore. But yeah, it's kind of going off of that. Near the end, um, I decided to give her snake-like eyes. Now she does have fangs, but you can't really see it. So I decided to emphasize the snake kind of features more by giving her yellow eyes and then the very slim sliver in the middle. Overall though, I really like how this one turned out. I actually think this one might be my favorite out of all the elements that I did so far. Although she's not like an actual personification of the element, I think that she still represents the element quite well, just because um, snakes are known for venom or poison, or at least some snakes, the, the poisonous snakes, <laughs> are known for their poison. And I thought that 
it was an interesting mix between using a scientist kind of inspired by emperor's new groove <laughs> you know the poison the poison to kill cusco <laughs> um and snakes which you know venom poison the one thing that i do not like about this image is that when i was coloring in the liquid in the beakers they kind of defy gravity <laughs> and i only noticed this a day after i drew it so if I could change anything, it would be that, and I would make it actually follow the laws of gravity <laughs> and physics, so that's the one thing that I wish I could change. But other than that, I really like how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys will be looking forward to more elementals in the future. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!